Oh, hello. Come right in. Oh, George, we've got company. This is Bill Goodwin, speaking for Lever Brothers, makers of Swan, the new white floating soap that's pure as fine cast steel. Well, it's Tuesday night again. Time for another pleasant visit with George Burns and Gracie Allen. Our guests, lovely Hetty Lamar, Jimmy Cash, and Felix Mills and his orchestra. And now, meet the people who live in the Burns house, George and Gracie. Well, it's afternoon, and George is just getting home from the office. As he opens the front door, he hears Gracie on the telephone talking to Pat O'Brien. Oh, no, 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 Pat. Tim Horn married Katie McDonald. It was Muscles Malone who married Fatso Finnegan's sister. Oh, no, not again. Oh, hello, George. Pat, George just came in. Huh? Oh, wait a minute, I'll ask him. George, how's the juggling game? <laughs> you tell that Irishman I'm not a juggler. Oh, of course. Pat, George isn't a juggler. He's a comedian. Sure. Well, wait, I'll have him tell you that joke about the moron who flooded the football field so the coach could send him in as a sub. <laughs> Here, George. Tell Pat that joke. Hang up. Hang up. Oh, hello, Pat. Well, I'd better hang up. George isn't his usual comical self today. Goodbye. That guy has got everybody in town thinking I'm a juggler. Can he get it through that head of his oh, that I'm not now, a... Oh, George, don't be upset. I have some good news for you. What? Well, look. Tomorrow is Navy Day, and what do you think is going to happen to Tootsie Fagwell? Very little, if I know our Navy. <laughs> ah, you're wrong. There, there's a big contest to choose the queen of the fleet, and the sailors are going to elect Tootsie. Racy, the boys would rather kiss a duffel bag. <laughs> she hasn't got a chance. Oh, is that so? Well, it just happens that Tootsie is in second place. Really? How many girls in the contest? Two. <laughs> I see, and Tootsie's in second place. Yes. And uh, who's in first place, Monty Woolley? Oh, no. Really, it's a girl. Is she the same type as Tootsie? Mm-hmm. It's Teddy Lamar. <laughs> Teddy Lamar? Yes. All the other girls dropped out of the contest when they heard that Hetty was in it, but Tootsie's not afraid of her. <laughs> she's, she's giving Hetty a terrific battle. How does it stand? Well, Hetty has 2,617,000 votes. And how many votes has Tootsie? Three. <laughs> That's a close race. Uh, uh, how did she get the three votes? She has four brothers in the Navy. <laughs> four brothers and she's got three votes? Well, one of them has seen Hattie Lamar. <laughs> Look, Gracie, Tootsie hasn't got a chance. Why don't you forget this silly thing? Oh, because I'm not a quitter. It's like I told the newspaper reporters, and you'll be proud of this, George. I said... Mrs. George Burns is always for the underdog, no matter how homely other people may think they are. If she weren't, she wouldn't be Mrs. George Burns. <laughs> I'm proud, proud. And besides, George, it would mean so much to Tootsie's father if she could be elected queen of the fleet. Tootsie's father? Yeah, he's captain of the SS Dauntless. Uh, battleship? No. Cruiser? Mm, no. Destroyer? Well, you're getting warm. Well, what is it? A garbage scow. <laughs> garbage scow. Well, that's practically a destroyer. Come in. Oh, crazy, guess what? <laughs> oh, what? Tootsie. Uh, I just got another phone. No. Yes. I went swimming with a cute little sailor. <laughs> she had only took me three minutes to get him to vote for me. Really? I didn't want to hold him under any longer than that. I'll, uh, I'll see you girls later. I'm going down to the cigar store. Oh, aren't you thrilled, Tootsie? When you become queen of the fleet, you can have your pick of any sailor. Yes. If I do get a husband, Papa says he'll marry me on his boat, the SS Dauntless. Oh, that would be wonderful. You could not only have orange blossoms, but the peelings, too. <laughs> Hello, Gracie. Hi, Tootsie. Hello, Bill. Oh, Bill, have you heard the news? Tootsie may become queen of the fleet. Queen of the fleet? Yeah, the Navy's taking a poll. Well, they are if they take Tootsie. <laughs> well, Bill, the, the contest is narrowed down to Tootsie and Hetty Lamar. Hetty Lamar? Uh-huh. 
Oh, brother, there is a beautiful woman. You know, I see her out at MGM every day. She's making a picture called The Heavenly Body. The Heavenly Body? Oh, it must be about the moon or the planet. <laughs> Silly girl. <laughs> oh, Bill, if I get to be queen of the fleet, all the sailors will want to marry me, but uh, if you'd like to get in your bid now... Oh, yes, Bill. Tootsie, I'd rather have a bird's hand. Would you, Tootsie? Oh, yes. Well, okay, here. Oh, what's that? A bar of swan. Now you got a bird in the hand. <laughs> but, Bill... You're a wise girl, Tootsie. Swan, the new white floating soap, is four soaps in one. The soap for your hands and face, for bathing the baby, for washing the dishes, and for doing your light laundry. Four swell soaps in one. Oh, Bill, what I meant was I'd love to marry a sailor, but I'd rather marry a radio announcer. Oh, well, what are we waiting for, Tootsie? You mean... Sure, let's go speak to Harlow Wilcox. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think Tootsie would prefer a husband who sells swan soap. Yes. Let's get an understudy. <laughs> Another man who can remind folks that Swan is great for dishes because it gives so much sud so fast. Someone who knows that Swan is so mild and gentle it doesn't give your hands that rough red dish panty look. Well, it's no use, Tootsie. Bill wouldn't marry you unless you came in a cool green wrapper with a white swan on the front. <laughs> That's right, and if you were a great wartime buy like Swan. Oh, come on, Tootsie. If you're going to win this election, you have to contact over two million sailors between now and midnight. Do you think you can do it? It'll be fun trying. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now, wait a minute, girls. You're not serious, are you? Why, the only way Tootsie could win would be for Hetty Lamar to withdraw. Say, I never thought of that. I'll go right over and talk to Hetty. Oh, don't do that, Gracie. No? No. <laughs> Let me go. Oh, no, Bill. I wouldn't even take you along with me. I want to talk business with Hetty, and you'd only interfere. Oh, Gracie, I promise you I'll just sit there on her lap as quiet as a mouse. <laughs> You mean you'd be satisfied just to sit on Hattie Lamar's lap and hug her and kiss her and not say a word to sure. her? Sure. Oh, well, no, you certainly can't go. I don't want her to think my friends are unsociable. <laughs> Our popular young tenor, Jimmy Cash, and a new popular ballad, My Heart Tells Me. Jim? Sometimes I feel so very certain that you care And there are times I feel we don't belong The more I fall for you, the more I must beware So how am I to know if I am right or wrong? For my heart tells me this is just a flame Yet you say our love means everything Do you mean what you are saying? Or is this a little game you're playing? just arriving at Hetty Lamar's house to try to persuade her to withdraw from the Queen of the Fleet contest in favor of Tootsie Sagwell. Yes? Oh, how do you do, Miss Lamar? Won't you come in, Miss Allen? 
Oh, thank you. Oh, but let's not be so formal. You call me Gracie and I'll call you Hetty. All right, Gracie. Ah, that's better. After all, we probably have a great many things in common beside our beauty. <laughs> well, uh, what did you want to see me about, Gracie? Well, Hetty, I'm going to be concise and to the point. No beating around the bush. Strictly business. I have a girlfriend... My, that's a lovely dress. Is it new? Yes. You like it? Oh, I think it's charming. Uh, my dress is new, too. Really? It's stunning. Isn't it, though? Well, I'm going to be concise and to the point, Hetty. You see, this girl... My hat is new, too. You don't say. It's simply beautiful. Oh, no. Do you really think so? Yes. Oh, so do I. <laughs> and, and, you know, this hat was my own idea. Oh, you designed it? No, but it was my idea to buy it. Oh, uh, nice. Uh, what was it you wanted to say? Oh, well, I'm going to be concise and to the point. You're in a contest to... Say, do you have your hair done at Dorothy? Why, yes. You know, I thought I saw you coming out of there the other day. She does my hair, too. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, flatterer. Gracie, you had something to say to me. Oh, yes. Well, Hetty, I'm going to be concise and to the point. How much do you want to bet? <laughs> oh, I am. Now, my girlfriend... Oh, my, those are lovely stockings you have on. Thank you. I'll send you a bottle of them. Uh, I wish you would. Uh, you know, I just hate wearing Bobby socks. They make me feel even younger than I look. It's such a thing as possible. <laughs> Gracie, you said you had something to say to me. Oh, oh, yes, I have, and it's terribly important. Well, what is it? Hetty, I'm going to be concise and to the point. Oh, no. Now, this time, please beat around the bush. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm so businesslike. Hetty, I want you to withdraw from the Queen of the Fleet contest. Withdraw? But why? The boys on every ship voted for me. Well, not all of them. Haven't you heard about the Tootsie Sagwell vote? The Tootsie Sagwell? Is that an American ship? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Tootsie's my girlfriend. She's your rival in the contest. Oh. Now, Hetty, please do me a favor. Come over to my house and talk to Tootsie. Well, all right, Gracie, if you want me to. Oh, good. One look at her and you know you haven't got a chance. <laughs> I brought Miss Lamar back with me to show her why she might as well give up. Hetty, this is Tootsie Sagwell. How do you do? Oh, Miss Lamar, I'm so sorry we have to be rivals. I've always been crazy about you. Oh, you're very kind, Miss Sagwell. Oh, oh your love scenes are wonderful. Uh, tell me, how does it feel when Charles Boyer puts his face close to yours and whispers in your ear? You really want to know? Yes. <laughs> it tickles a little. <laughs> Tootsie, don't you agree that it's silly for you to stay in the race? No, Gracie. I believe I still have a chance. But Tootsie is the ideal queen of the fleet. Aren't sailors very manly? Of course they are. Well, Tootsie's type of beauty is much manlier than yours. <laughs> Gracie, the sailors all voted for me. I know, and I can't understand it. Here, stand up side by side and let me compare you two. All right. Very well. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Just as I thought. There's no difference in your faces. Your eyes and ears and nose and mouth are the same. Really? Yeah, I counted them very carefully. <laughs> oh, thanks, Gracie. Now, why should we argue, Hetty? Just drop out and let Tootsie be queen of the fleet. I'm sorry, Gracie. I'd step aside from Miss Sagwell if the honor wasn't such a great one. Oh, I don't blame her, Gracie. I'll just tell Daddy that I lost. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, your father. Oh, the poor old captain. Hetty, would you want to break an old man's heart? Why, no. But you will if Tootsie doesn't win. It'll be the end of Captain Sagwell, the most gallant old sailor whose timbers ever shivered. <laughs> your father, Tootsie? Yes, he's captain of the SS Dauntless. Oh, is that a famous ship? Oh, very famous. When the Dauntless sails up the river, people for miles around know that it's coming. <laughs> Especially on a windy day. <laughs> but why am I breaking his heart? Oh, because Tootsie is all the poor old salt has left. Before she was born, he hoped that she'd be a young salt. 
And he was very sad when she turned out to be a saltine. I see. <laughs> he, he still tries to make her part of the daisy. To this very day, he calls her bedroom the crow's nest. <laughs> Gracie, that's a very touching story. Yeah, I thought so, too. Oh, be kind to Captain Sagwell, Hetty. The poor old man is all shot to pieces. Oh, too bad. In what battle was he wounded? What battle? Well, uh, uh, name one. Well, uh, the Battle of Manila. Oh, that's amazing. You've guessed it the very first time. <laughs> oh, please, Hetty, won't you let his daughter be queen of the fleet? Well, I could see him and talk to him. Oh, no, you better not. He's pretty weak and old. Yes, Daddy's very feeble these days. Wait, I see your father now coming up the walk. My father? He must be. I noticed the family resemblance. Uh, but, Hetty... Here he is, fumbling at the door. Hello, Dan. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> Say, isn't this Hetty Lamar? Yes, I'm Hetty Lamar. Here, let me help you to a chair. <laughs> help me to a chair? Yes. Gracie tells me you're shot. I am not. I'm as sober as a judge. Oh, a judge. I want to see him again right away. Mills and his orchestra with a special Mills version of one of the season's cleverest songs. They're either too young or too old. you rush me into the den. I'd like to talk to Hetty Lamar. Well, George, you see, um, well, Hetty liked to try a dress I was wearing, and she wanted to try it on. Oh. Uh, and naturally, you wouldn't want to be here where she's trying on a dress, would you? Would you? George, get that silly grin off your face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, honey, I'll stay here. Oh, good. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Hetty. Yes, Gracie? Well, now that you've seen Captain Sagwell, are you going to withdraw from the contest and let Tootsie be queen of the fleet? Well, I don't know, Gracie. It's such a great honor. Oh, but the men in the service have honored you lots of times, and it's only happened to Tootsie once. How did they honor her? Well, the boys in the army chose Tootsie as the girl they'd most like to snuggle up to their sergeant. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Hetty. Hi, Gracie. Well, what's wrong? You look worried. Oh, I am, Bill. Look, could you do anything with Hetty Lamar? Well, 
I could certainly try. Well, she's in there. Go in and persuade her to let Tootsie be queen of the fleet. You leave it to me, Gracie. <clears throat> yes? Uh, I'm, um, Bill Goodwin. <laughs> yes, I've heard of you. Oh, <laughs> Good. No, not so good. <laughs> well, I suppose you've heard that I'm the sort of fellow who wants to sit on the sofa with a girl as soon as he meets her. That's exactly what I've heard. Well, it's not true. Here, let's sit on the sofa and I'll prove it to you. <laughs> what did you wish to see me about, Mr. Goodwin? Well, uh, Miss Lamar, you'd better move closer if you want to hear me. I can't talk very loud. There's a, <clears throat> there's a frog in my throat. <laughs> no, thank you. Well, uh, why not? There's also a wolf in your eye. <laughs> well, <laughs> here we are. Um, Gracie sent me in to talk about Tootsie Sagwell, but mm -hmm. I've got a better idea. Uh, guess what it is. I suppose you talk about swarm soap. Oh, Hetty, are you kidding? Me alone with Hetty Lamar and I talk about Swan, the new white floating soap? <laughs> Listen, would I waste my time telling you that Swan is four pure soaps in one, the soap for your dishes, your light laundry for bathing the baby or for your hands and face, four swell soaps in one and pure as fine cast seals? You bet I wouldn't. I'm no fool. No, of course not. You said it. Why, this is the chance of a lifetime. This is the time to talk about your, your gorgeous hair, your lovely lips, your delicate skin. The kind that Swan would be great for. <laughs> because Swan is so mild and gentle. Why, doctors recommend Swan for bathing the baby. Kind even to a baby's tender skin. Me talk about Swan at a time like this. Ha! Ha! <laughs> How could I think of soap when we're, we're sitting here as close together as the two halves of a bar of Swan? <laughs> Which, by the way, you can break in two and use half in the kitchen for dishes and light laundry and half in the bathroom for your tub or shower. How could I do that? Yes, how could you? Well, Hetty, I just couldn't. If I talked about Swan now, I'd be the biggest sap in the United States. But I'm not. I'm... I'm... What? I'm the biggest sap in the United States. <laughs> Goodbye, Hetty. Did Bill persuade you to drop out of the contest? No, Gracie. In fact, the only person who has moved me at all is that poor old man, Captain Sagwell. Oh, yes, Tootsie's father. Hetty, for his sake, won't you give Tootsie your 2,617,000 votes? Well, uh, I'll go in and talk to him again. No, 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 no. no you, you can't do that. Why not? Well, um, the, he's taking the bath. I'll go in. You'll go in. <laughs> oh, well, well, he, um... <laughs> He bathed with his clothes on. You, you, you know how the laundries are nowadays. Uh, you, you stay here. I'll get him. Uh, George, it, it's such a lovely day. Get out of the house quick. Huh? It's too beautiful to sit indoors. Go to a movie. But, Gracie, uh, George, you know what a different man you used to be after seeing Clark Gable in a picture. I was? Yes. They're reviving a Clark Gable picture of the Bijou. Why did you go down and get revived, too? <laughs> honestly, Gracie, I think you're trying to get rid of me. Well, I, I, honestly, I am, George. Look, but I'd like to talk to Hetty Lamar. Oh, wait, George, wait. I'll tell you the real reason I want you to leave. Why? Hetty Lamar has fallen madly in love with you. That's silly. I know, but she has anyhow. Teddy Lamar in love. Oh, stop. And it's true, George, and I'm afraid I might lose you. This is ridiculous. Teddy Lamar's only seen me once. Now, if, if she'd seen me a couple of times, I could understand it. Oh. <laughs> George, please leave. It's dangerous for you and Hetty to be in this house together. Any moment now, the spark may leap into a flame and burn our marriage to the ground. Oh, there are the firemen now. <laughs> That's the telephone. Oh. Oh. Hello? Oh, well, hold on to the phone a minute, Tootsie. George, sneak out of the house and don't let Hetty Lamar see you. Oh, all right. Uh, just a moment. I want to see you. Uh, you do? Yes. 
I've been thinking this thing over, and there's only one thing for me to do. Give in. You, uh, you think so? <laughs> oh, you brave man. When I think of what you've been through, I could kiss you. Oh, really, Hattie? Uh, come home with me. I've got 2,617,000, and you can have them all. <laughs> Gee, that's a lot. That's all I've got. Oh, don't, don't apologize. <laughs> Will you come home with me right now? Look, I'm very happily married. Well, what difference does that make? No, please, let go of my sleeve. But it's got to be now. Tomorrow it'll be all over. So soon? <laughs> Of course. Tomorrow is Navy Day. <laughs> Hattie, you don't know what you're saying. Oh, yes, I do. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of every bullet hole in that poor little chest of yours. <laughs> bullet hole? Yes, I heard all about it from your daughter. My daughter? Yes, and don't worry. She'll be queen of the fleet, Captain Sagwell. Captain who... Captain Sagwell. Aren't you Captain Sagwell? Of course not. I'm George Burns. George Burns the juggler? Jug... <laughs> What's going on? Gracie, come out here. Uh, did you call me Captain Sagwell? Stop with that Captain Sagwell. <laughs> Hattie knows who I am. I'm afraid your game's up, Gracie. Tootsie won't be queen of the fleet. All oh, those poor sailors. Well, I tried. Gracie... Just what did you tell Hetty Lamar about me? Well, I told her you were a feeble, old, broken-down sea captain. Now tell her the truth. Hetty? Yes? He's not a sea captain. <laughs> well, George and Gracie will be right back. Meanwhile, I'd like to remind you not to waste soap. Wasting soap is unpatriotic, you know, because soap is made of essential materials for the war front and the home front. So don't leave the soap in the water when you're bathing or washing dishes or duds or baby. And don't whip up more suds than you need. Keep soap dishes dry, too, because a wet soap dish dissolves soap and wastes it. And make soap jelly out of soap slivers. Well, that's the story, friends. Avoid wasting soap and do one more thing to help wash up the axes. And now here they are again, America's happiest Mr. and Mrs., George and Gracie. Oh, now, George. George, don't be angry. I only did it because tomorrow is Navy Day, and I wanted to do something nice for the Navy. But nothing good ever comes out of these silly ideas of yours. Well, something did this time. We've been invited to go on a three-day cruise. Really? On a battleship? No, on the SF Dauntless. Or the garbage scout. <laughs> The Major of the Swan, the new white coating soap, join George and Gracie in inviting you to tune in to your Columbia station again next week, same time, when we'll have as our guest, Jack Benny. Remember, George Burns and Gracie Allen, CBS, next Tuesday night. And now till next week, this is Bill Goodwin saying, Well, I, Swan, how about you? Good night, everybody.